Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to video lecture on OpenCV. Uh, in this video tutorial, uh, we'll be learning something known as uh, image transformations or image enhancement techniques. So, suppose you have an image which is not of uh, good uh, visual perception, then you need to do transformations so that you can see some minor details in the image. You mean uh, you need to uh, increase the quality of the image. So to improve the quality of image, one way of doing is uh, by changing intensities of a pixel or by going for a transformations. There are many transformations, uh, but in this video lecture we will be learning three transformations. One is a uh, uh, negative transformation, log transformation, and power law transformation or gamma transformation. So the first one is gamma correction or gamma transformation or also gamma encoding or simply gamma. So this technique is used to change the luminance of your uh, video or still image systems or uh, monitors. So this gamma correction is uh, done by a uh, expression, power law expression. The expression goes like this, V out is equal to A into V in raised to gamma. A here is a constant, generally we take A to be 1. Uh, the V in is uh, the input image and this value lies between 0 to 1 so if you have a 8 bit image 8 bit value will be 0 to 255 how do you convert it to 0 to 1 it is just by dividing 255 from all the pixels and this gamma if the gamma is uh, uh, can be greater than 1 or less than 1 uh, but not negative uh, if the uh, if it is greater than 1 you will get uh, this kind of graph uh, in the right part of the screen you can see uh, it's for gamma 2.2 so you will get this kind of graph and if the gamma is less than 1 you will get this kind of graph and if you change the gammas if you increase the gammas you will get here here and if you reduce the gamma value you will get curve like here and curve somewhere here if gamma is 1 you will get a linear curve so here uh, this x is nothing but uh, input image and this y coordinate is nothing but output image you can see input image is change uh, the range will be from 0 to 1 and also at the same time the output image range will be from 0 to 1 so what is this transformation so imagine your uh, input pixel is now 0.5 so for gamma is equal to 2.2 the input image of 0.5 will be mapped to nearly 0.21 so if your image is nearly 0 0.4 0 0.4 is mapped to some 1.2 so the darker section of the image is mapped to little more darker much more darker if the gamma is 2.2 or greater now than 1 for a gamma less than 1 so if you take the input of 0.2 it maps to nearly 0.5 and if you take the input of 0.4 it nearly maps to 6.5 so the darker section is mapped to brighter section when your gamma is less than 1. So consider here is an image of uh, some ladies floating in the water. You can't see the boundary section of this image. So when you uh, change the gamma with gamma is equal to 2, you can't see the, the image is getting a little more darker. So when the gamma is changed to half, so you can see certain uh, ground and uh, the head of a lady and when you make it little more brighter using gamma you can see the clearly uh, the ground section so this is about a power law so next uh, we'll go for a negative in this particular diagram here uh, uh, l stands for 256 for 8 bit image so this l minus 1 is 255 3l by 4 is nearly 192 it is 128 and it is 64 Similarly, this side is also 64, 128, 192, and 256. So the negative curve belongs to this particular line. So if your input image is 64 bit, it is directly uh, mapped to 3, 192. And if your input image is 1, uh, 192, it is directly mapped to 64. And it's opposite. There is one more line here. This more line gives you the identity uh, transformation. Uh, in this whatever the image is uh, it is mapped to the same image next one is log transform here you can see the log transform curve and this one is a inverse log transform curve 
so here for the lock transform if your input image is l by 4 it is mapped to uh, nearly 3 l by 4 and uh, l by 8 is nearly mapped to l by 2 so much much darker section is mapped to nearly 0 to 3 l by 4 range similarly for a uh, inverse lock transform a uh, much brighter section i mean the uh, brighter portion of the image is mapped to the darker portion of the output so let us see some certain formulas uh, first one is image negation image negation the formula is l minus 1 l is 256 256 minus 1 gives you a 255 255 minus r will give you the output pixel so here r um, need not be converted to a 0 to 1 range it could be from 0 to 255 range and next one is log transformation here uh, the formula is s is equal to c into log 1 plus r the c is constant generally we take it as 1 and uh, r will be in the range of uh, 0 to 1 or it could be in the range of 0 to 255 but in my example i'll take it from 0 to 1 so imagine if the r is 1 so 1 plus 1 log of 2 this log is natural logarithm so the natural logarithm of 2 is 0.6931 so the output of this at max will be 0.6931 so from the your output will range from 0 to 0.6931 so you need to map this particular range to 0 to 1 to uh, display properly in the window so how do you map it there is a formula here the formula is range conversion or conversion of saturation values so first you need to calculate the minimum of the input image and also you need a maximum of input image so you have to find this minimum and maximum of uh, maximum element present in the input image so once you found out so you subtract minimum from the given image and you obtain a resulting image which is fs and fs is divided by the maximum of the input image not maximum of fs it is maximum of input image so once you do that you will surely get the image in the range of 0 to 1 uh, you can uh, take a rough image and you can do this uh, this gives you a range between 0 to 1 so if you want to convert it to this particular 0 to 1 to 0 to 255 you just have to multiply by some k or constant here the constant is 255 for 8 bit image and this formula is already discussed s is equal to c r raised to lambda r must be within 0 to 1 and gamma, lambda or gamma uh, it could be uh, less than 1 or, or it could be a greater than 1 so let's go back to visual uh, studio uh, i have written the program already let me run it so here is a console which gives the image information which is 512 cross 512 image and it is asking user input either you want to see the log or power transform or negative so one is for log so let me give one enter so this is the formula x is equal to x into log one plus r r is input image and x is one so let me see this is input image and this is output image so as soon as you click a track bar uh, the transformation happens so let me i uh, just uh, see this whiteness and this whiteness so they are much alike as soon as you click track bar this is going to be a little brighter because the log transformation going to affect so see this is a little uh, brighter than this particular white now let me go for a power transform i need to press 2 and enter and it is asking one more input c generally the c will be constant uh, which is equal to 1 enter so here is my input image and here is my output image so as soon as you change the track bar uh, the gamma going to change so uh, and the output should change here so the gamma uh, the when track bar is at 11 the gamma calculated will be 1.5 when uh, track bar is at 10 the out when the track bar is at uh, 10 the gamma is 1 so if you change it to 12 it becomes 2 15 to 13 it becomes 2.5 at the same time if you change it to 9 it becomes 0.9 so whenever the track bar is less than 10 you are multiplying the track bar value by 0.1 so you are getting 0.9 when you can see for 0.8 so whenever the track bar is uh, greater than 10 you are subtracting the track bar value minus 10 
and you are multiplying it by 0.5 and and then you are adding it to 1 here it is 11 11 minus 10 gives you 1 1 into 0.5 is nothing but 0 0.5 0 0.5 is added to 1 which gives you 1.5 and you can observe the contrast how it is changing if you change the gamma value now let me go for a negative of an image so for that I need to press 3 hit enter so here is my input image and here is my output image so as soon as you change the track bar the negative image is going to appear so here is my negative of this particular image this is what we are going to see in the uh, programmatically so I need some uh, constant uh, or global variables one is uh, in the image path it is for a uh, input image path and one more is option option is to keep track on which option you are selecting whether it's a log or power transform and float c c is a constant uh, it's for power law so let me directly go to main function main function i'm creating an input image and uh, the path is also selected uh, the baboon image is chosen for the path and uh, the image is red which is an, we read a grayscale image not a color image grayscale image is red and stored in in image you are checking whether the data is available or not if not you just return or else proceed forward and you created a window input image window and you are displaying it next you need to register a track bar for that you require a track bar position the initial track bar position must be at 10 and uh, we created a window named output window where this track bar get registered so output window and we also displayed the image uh, the same image that we displayed in the input window and uh, we are uh, displaying certain information in the uh, console window its rows and columns of image and next is we are releasing because we don't need this image anymore because whatever uh, the processing will be done it will be done in the track bar function so I'm registering a track bar function the track bar name is track bar 1 and it is uh, put onto a output window and uh, the position is the track bar position and the maximum value will be of 20 and the function whenever the track bar changes this function is get called by the OS track bar mode and you are not sending any uh, values to it so it's null and you are displaying information what you want log power transform negative uh, 1 2 3 so you are waiting for a, uh, a key press so as soon as the key presses you accept it you check for it if it is 1 then you are displaying it's a log transform if, if it is not then you are going for a power transform if it is 2 it's a power transform and again you need a C again you ask C from the user and it is stored and this C is nothing but the our global variable C uh, else it's a negative uh, else it is an exit call so you are trying to exit from the application and here is my uh, track bar mode function uh, it is position this gives a uh, position at what, what, what position the track bar is and you are uh, taking nothing because you are sending null and this y points to null so mat image you are creating one more image here and you are reading from this particular image path this image path is uh, declared in uh, sorry defined in main function but it is declared in global so you are converting that particular image to a floating point uh, the reason is if in case the option is power transform uh, we need to go for a floating point even if the option is a log transform we need to go for a uh, floating point arithmetic so I'm converting it uh, using a convert to function it is input image uh, the convert to function and the output image and what type of conversion you require 32f is for floating point and after converting it to floating point your values will lie from 1.000 to 255.000 so to make uh, this image to point uh, range from 0 to 1 I need to divide it by 255 division by 255 is nothing but multiplication by 0 0.00391 I'm multiplying it by 0 0.00391 so at last at this point the image will be completely in the range of uh, 0 to 1 not more than 1 so if you want to check you can uh, uncomment this and you can see the value I print some nearly 9 values those 9 values are in between 0 to 1 and uh, next is you are checking whether the option is 1 or not if the option is 1 
you means uh, you are going for a log transform for log transform you require 1 plus r so i am doing it here this image plus 1 gives you 1 plus r and again stored in image and uh, we have a log function available in opencv specifically for mat so this takes this particular image and it, it stores the log of it in this particular image so this particular image will be having a, a values in the range of 0 to 0.69 because maximum is natural logarithm of 2 so maximum is 0.69 values will be stored here next you require uh, two um, minimum and maximum according to the formula uh, we have seen the formula so according to that we require two variables one is min value and max value which should be of double type and we have a function known as min max loc uh, let us explore this particular function in uh, documentation so it is available in uh, available in the core sorry core section in core section operation on arrays uh, this one is operation on arrays you can see here and uh, the function is min mac it is available here so this returns nothing min mac log which finds the global minimum and maximum in an array so you need to send an input matrix and you need to send a pointer to a minimum value um, uh, and one more pointer to a maximum value and if you want to find the location of that minimum value you need to send one more variable if not just send the null uh, here is also for a point a, a point where the maximum is available so if you don't want it just send a null and an R mask um, in our case we are not sending any mask we are sending null so here is our function min mac log uh, it takes an input image and takes a pointer to a minimum value pointer to a maximum value which is of double type and uh, uh, once it's done we'll uh, print it on a screen the minimum value and maximum value then we need to calculate fs so i declare a mat uh, variable fs and fs is nothing but image minus minimum value of image so since it's a double line to typecast it to float because our image is in float format and uh, once you got fs you need to divide it by maximum value so fs divided by maximum value gives the image in the range of 0 to 1 and then you multiply it by 255 so once this over it will directly come the end 64th line here you are again converting the image to a unsigned integer 8 bit so the floating point is converted to 8 bit and you are displaying it if in case the option is 2 it means you are going for a gamma transform or power law transform here you need a you need to monitor the track bar so x stands for a track bar and uh, you are comparing the position if the position of the track bar is at 10 then x becomes 1.0 if the uh, position of the track bar is less than 10 you are multiplying the track bar position by 0.1 else you are uh, subtracting it by 10 so position of the track bar minus 10 and it is multiplied by 0.5 and added to 1 and next we have one more function known as power it stands for power so it takes input image and what sort of power you require that is x that we just calculated now and uh, the resulting image and that resulting image is multiplied by c in our case the c was 1 and later you need to multiply it by 255 because up to here the range will be from 0 to 1 and after multiplication the range will be from 0 to 255 and next is convert to image and are displaying the output uh, else if it is option 3 then you are going for a uh, negative so since we have converted image to floating point uh, instead of 255 minus image uh, we have to go for a 1 minus image so after doing 1 minus image uh, you need to multiply it by 255 and you need to display it by converting it to unsigned integer 8 bit this particular formula range conversion or a saturation conversion is very very important when you are going for a filters like Sobel filters Laplace filters because those filters gives you a negative value uh, the negative value can't be displayed on a monitor so what you have to convert is you need to convert those negative values to a positive value so using this formula you can easily convert it to 
positive values and you can effectively display on the monitor so that's it for this video lecture don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to like the video